Not allowed to say that. Right, <coughs> right let's see. Flipping safety catch. <laughs> Flipping neck. These are crazy accurate, these things. Yeah. Flipping neck, same old, mate. I mean, alright, it's only 30 yards, but. Right, that settles it. I'm going to put that ZCO scope on this bugger. Definitely. flat one though. <coughs> I can tell it's brand new this thing, the barrel latch is so stiff. Yeah. The ball bearing at the front, trying to get the bloody it's thing. Ball in, not... I haven't shot anything through it. Still bedding it. Bloody hell, it's death. So I wasn't that keen on this when I first saw it, <clears throat> didn't like the black stock, but having bought one, 
it's not actually black it's more of a I don't know it's like a charcoal grey colour it's actually quite nice I don't like the walnut version of the ultimate sporter because I don't like that black the way they've put a black um, cheek piece on it soft touch black cheek piece and I worry about that coating that's on them and the durability of that over time if, if they'd made it all out of walnut it would have looked great um, so I must admit the more I'm shooting this the nicer it is and that's the first shots this thing's had through it and it's only 30 yards but so far they've all gone through the same hole so and it's got a fairly indifferent scope on it as well to be fair the scope's not very good uh, it's been knocking about a little bit uh, it's a little bit worse for wear um, so decent scope <clears throat> and once it's bedded in this thing's going to be awesome Munching away on a Greg's while you're shooting. Hey? Munching away on a Greg's sausage roll while you're shooting. <laughs> No, that's what that's the other rifle that I've got down there. Oh, right. I'll show you that one in a minute. <clears throat> I had one of these, a walnut one for hunting. But this is heavier because it's got this adjustable stock on it. Right. Yeah, you wouldn't want to lug this bug around the field. It's good though. Feel the weight of that bug. Feels nice to bear that. Does the net solid in it? It's a proper meaty beast, isn't it? Very nice. Beautiful. Can't beat a springer sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Really going out. Need it really. So it's fair. Fair. There was a guy, a guy the other day here when we were in, he walked, he was on that, this far one here, and we were in there, and someone was shooting in there, and he just walked out, put target out, so he shooting away in there. You don't want to step away from your gun as well, when you do it, because people are asked to pay back the guns, don't they? Yeah, which they should, it's a bit naughty. It's supposed to be simple. Suddenly guarantee. <laughs> yeah. Take it back and say it fell apart. <laughs> User error. Yeah. Well, I didn't miss once, did I? 
Go on then. Yeah, I'm impressed with it. It's brilliant. Oh, I might put another target out while you're doing it. Right. Time to give this original 66 a go. This should be fun. You can tell this hasn't been shot for a long time. It's teasing it like mad. Trying to mind it, it's winding it on purpose, mate.
Good luck. No, I'm just going to lift out and check that down again. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. So low power for these targets, yeah. you wouldn't believe it. Heavy? Yeah, nine and a half pound. Beautiful to shoot, but really, really low pound. They meant for shooting at 10 meters. Not that. So 10 meters, it's, it just, it's pellet on pellet, but yeah. anything over that, they're so weak. It's going down, you know, 1.30 one, one or something. Flipping accurate this thing. My God, it's dropping at 20 yards. 25 yards. <clears throat> ten, 10 yards, it's bang on. 25 yards, it's about 4 inches drop off. Really? Yeah. Massive amount, isn't it, really? Yeah. 